Alright guys, so in the last couple of tutorials, let's see what we did. We connected to the server, once we were connected, we set up the streams, and now we took care of the while chatting method. So, you know, aside from, you know, showing the messages and stuff, what we need to do is, once we're done chatting, we need to go ahead and cleanly close everything down, and we made a method called close crap for that. And what this does is close the streams and sockets and private void close crap and there we go and this doesn't throw anything or uh, take any parameters or anything so the first thing we need to do is just put give a user a nice little prompt that says tell them what we're doing and what are we doing well we are just closing crap down so once we do that we can go ahead and First of all, before we even run any of the code, we want to change able to type equal to false because as we're closing anything down, of course, that means the connection is no longer going to be there. So we don't want to let the user, we don't want to give them the functionality to type anything or else it's going to mess things up. So now to close everything down, throw in a try catch statement. So catch IO exception. IO exception and now let me just go ahead and save me some time print stack trace which pretty much means show our error messages or exceptions rather so now of course just like last time the first thing we need to do is close down both of our streams so output okay crap was popping up scaring me output close which closes our output stream input close which closes our input stream and the main socket which was connection which is basically the connection close that down so now that we have everything closed again um, we have a couple of housekeeping uh, things to take care of we have three more methods send message which sends a message to the person on the server show message which pretty much uh, remember updates that chat window through a thread and allows us to see you know all the messages that we sent back and forth and able to type which lets the user or gives the user permission to type into that text field or not type into it. So that's what we have to look forward to. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.